selling larger ticket items that we did not code or make. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be selling things that aren't 40, 50, 30, 80 bucks, and we're going to be selling $2,000 items. And the concepts are super similar where we're going to now really start to wow ourselves by closing on larger ticket items in the circa $2,000 range. So in covering your base, you want to make sure that you're either selling something that you don't own or selling something that exists and covering your base investment ASAP. And this goes against what people in the general population, the general public will do. People in the general public, they'll buy a garage full of items and then try to sell from there. We don't want to do that to get to our first $2,000 sale. We want to sell things that exist and we don't want to actually ourselves carry inventory. So that's what external API is meant to do is to take a piece of inventory somebody else's housing, improve it, and then sell it. Selling a $2,000 sponsorship. So conferences just people just don't plan and I know that's counterintuitive because it's listed as September is uh, said conference on National Association of Professional Background Screeners and APBS Austin, Texas Indianapolis Austin South by Southwest March 11 2016 you think that people will plan ahead they don't that's why selling a $2,000 sponsorship is basically an amiable ambush where you're just waiting for someone to show up and be a lay down. That's what selling as an inbound lead was meant to help you practice is yet you're laying the groundwork for an amiable ambush. Selling a Napa bus trip. So during Super Bowl week, People are going to want to go to Napa because people don't want a hotel in Napa and then go to Santa Clara for the Super Bowl. They'd rather hotel in San Francisco and then they don't want one week of parties where they arrive on Tuesday and they leave on Monday. They don't want to party every night because they're old people. One of the days they're going to want to do a bus trip. So selling a $2,000 bus trip piecewise where you make money from the wineries uh, that upcharge and you're making money on the bus transportation and your nut gets covered after you sell X number. So unit economics, later on you'll do it for your SaaS or your enterprise or for your app or widget. Initially do unit economics for a freaking Napa bus trip. Think of all these things as baby entrepreneurship, baby steps towards doing a a Larry Chang mini company concept, a miniature company concept. I think that's Engineering 145 Lecture 2. Uh, a lemonade stand business. And you combine that with a slew of gua gua guacamole recipes. Uh, GUA, GUA guacamole. Basically, it's a pre roll where everybody makes guacamole or consumes guacamole that is instant, tastes like crap. Whereas I'm making guacamole for Sunday on Tuesday. I learned this from Evia who, if you eat their uh, octopus, they have it marinating. The octopus they're going to serve on Saturday night, they're marinating right now on Wednesday. They marinate it in buttermilk for two days, braise it, and then finally barbecue it. Concepts of base plus commission is also what you want to use for your life too, where your base covers your living expenses and 10 to 20% savings. Your commission is where you roll the dice all upside. That's what this lecture is meant to have you hone in on, internalize, and and begin to have that as part of your execution and, and your mode of thinking, which is everything needs a base plus commission. When do I make my nut back? My nut is my base. So I don't want to have my nut dangling where it could get lopped off. I don't want that. And that's why base plus commission is great because then you've got a BSD because you don't care because you're in all gravy or what old people say, oh, it's all house money. House money is commission. Selling Airbnb housing to conference attendees who did not plan ahead. So selling a block of housing is like arbitrage. Arbitrage is just a complicated way of saying buy low, sell high. 
most of the time conference attendees have a pretty large budget because they're going to a tech conference boondoggle and they really need to stay in the area that the conference is in. So when you're selling Airbnb housing, you are buying low and selling high. And so you've got to cover your base and think of it as base plus commission where you don't want to ever expose yourself and have a downside. And that's the next video. Sell $2,000 worth of consulting services for EUTWM PPM. Now you can't just go off and say, oh, this is the solution, EUTWM PPM, what's your problem? You need to come up with a very specific and succinct solution, which is, hey, your business currently has meeting room space that currently is getting unsold. How about you buy this for $2,000? But you're not gonna have them prepay 1,000 or 2,000 of it. You're gonna need to offer a, uh, a money back guarantee and that's how to close on your $2,000 sale by doing internal escrow and one-way letter of intent, meaning they're not gonna pay that 2,000 until they see six or 7,000, which you're gonna put into the one-way letter of intent.